I'm Zach, and I'm his white friend, Andrew. And today we're talking about whitewashing in Hollywood. Whitewashing in Hollywood is something that's been going on for years upon years, pretty much since the dawn of the Hollywood scene. There have been countless examples of it, such as in Othello, Katniss Everdeen in The Hunger Games, This includes biblical stories like Access Gods and Kings, which came out not too long ago. And even going closer this year, Peter Pan, they casted the white girl as Tiger Lily. Whitewashing in Hollywood culture has taken away roles from many people of culture and it's unfair and it needs to be stopped. This has been happening since the beginning of film history, like Andrew said, and we're trying to change that today. All right, let's show you some ways how to change it. Transition! Hi, my name is Esteban. Um, I'm Benjamin. And here we're going to talk about how we're going to get everybody involved to help us out with this cause. So first of all, we're using social media as our biggest factor to to bring in youth and adults and people that uh, care about this cause. So first of all, we have a Twitter account at Whitewashing in Hollywood. We have a Facebook account, Whitewashing in Hollywood, and this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. We're trying to keep you updated on everything, what special events that we're doing or anything else like that, and we'll try our best to keep you updated. Uh, another way we plan to do this is through flyers. Uh, we can go door to door, or also we can go to Cineplex and uh, movie theaters and hand out Flyers there. So our goal is to produce defections in the regime of the Hollywood movie business. What we want to do is try to persuade people not to buy the tickets, as well as preventing it from happening in the future by talking to Hollywood directors and other people. We're going to send letters to the movie companies, uh, which, which hopefully will stop it. And we're going to put it on the news so everyone can know and see what's going on. Our campaign uses 10 methods from Gene Sharp's How to Start a Revolution. Here are some ideas that we have that could stop it. Mass petitions. We're going to put up banners across the school and across town to spread awareness for this cause. We're going to have a mock funeral where we're going to be like uh, symbolically burying whitewashing in Hollywood so that it's in the past and it doesn't happen again. We're going to hold large group protests outside of Cineplex, trying to get people to understand what the problem is and how we can solve it. <laughs> So instead of a traditional walkout, movie theaters can't really do that because if you buy the ticket and walk out, you're still giving them money. So what we're going to do is we're going to cause a problem. We're going to buy tickets for the next movie that has a big whitewashing casting. And we're going to buy tickets, go to the movie theater, 10 minutes later, walk out and refund our tickets. This movie sucks. Jeez. We're going to be using paint. We're going to block off the posters that have white people as minority characters. We're also planning to use uh, social disobedience, so pretty much acting rowdy at the movie theaters. We suck! Ah! So all this protest might actually lead to, we're hoping it leads to a consumer's boycott and maybe even a strike from the workers of Cineplex. Cineplex. Our last strategy is teaching, and this is basically what we just did. We taught you about what's happening, and what we're planning on doing, and hopefully this uh, changes your mind about what's happening and you feel like you need to help us. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, post on Twitter and Facebook. And subscribe.